Right, okay. Yeah, what happened? <sighs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's kind of like what I would talk about is we started it at King of Motos and then it kind of just, nothing was happening. There were no races going on. And then all of a sudden it kind of just like quickly picked back up again with Tough Leg Roar. And Sherco actually, I wasn't planning on going out there because I live in California. So um, they actually offered uh, to fly me out and like help me help get me to those races. Um, so I did Tough Lake Roar and I got second place there behind Rachel. And then the following weekend, I went to um, the Fallen Timbers Hard Enduro. And that was in Ohio um, and that was a little more technical. Um, so I did that and I, I won that race. And again, I didn't really have any plans to uh, do like the whole series because there really wasn't even certain if there was gonna be a whole series. So um, I had to go back to California to do uh, the pro trial at KTM. And then um, I think after that, I just went to TK TKO to, I got third there. So happy with that finish because that's when Rachel and Shelby Turner were back and they were at all the ra at that big race too. Um, and then I did Rev Limiter in the fall time, which was September. And I won this last year, so. Um, and then, that, yeah, that was it. Because it, it was just cut short and, you know, there is some races that could be put on and then others that were canceled, so, yeah. Um, I basically grew up riding trials from uh, 2002 to 2009 or 10. And then I um, kind of got burnt out on trials, and so I started racing enduro cross and some uh, national enduro, some faster stuff. I basically got into dirt biking, um, and so I did that from 2011, 12, and 13. But in 13, I got hurt a lot, and so my life was kind of changing financially. Um, so in 2014, I was offered this job on a traveling stunt show. It was owned by Marvel and Disney, and um, they needed a female motorcycle rider um, with technical skills. So I went to audition for this job and I got it. And I ended up doing that for uh, five years because it was just, um, I felt like at that time I was 26 and I kind of needed to uh, have health insurance, uh, have some income, like kind of do these grown up things. And at that time, like women in motorcycling wasn't, it was on the rise, but it wasn't like I couldn't, uh, I don't think I could have like provided for myself. So anyways, I chose that route for five years and then I got off of tour in 2019. And um, it was kind of the same time that Sherco was uh, expanding and they had brought over the dirt bikes uh, with through Ryan Young products. And so I kind of just had an opportunity or an opportunity that, um, th that presented itself to ride trials and hard enduros and enduro cross. So in, I think that's how last year was my, that opportunity kind of happened last year. And that's why it was my first um, season racing hard enduro because before I was on tour, there really weren't many um, hard enduro races except for King of Motos. So I got, I got off tour and um, started doing this. I kind of just like jumped back into my old lifestyle, even though I really wasn't planning on doing that. Kind of thought that I was gonna continue in stunt work, but. Um, just with the opportunity that Sherco's given me, I'm, I'm able to um, pursue this again, which has been like, it's been really uh, rewarding and kind of nice to have a second shot at it because this is what I wanted to do in my early 20s, um, but I couldn't quite make it. And so now I get another opportunity in my early 30s. <laughs> Take me through your grinding stuff experience. Oh man, yeah, it was quite an experience. It was, going into it, I was, um, just like looking at the terrain, I knew that it was going to be hard because there really wasn't anything other than like these huge rock formations. So I realized that um, for it to be hard, they're probably going to be sending us up and down <sighs> these massive rocks. So I kind of was starting to get a little nervous about that. And then I went out and rode and I learned that there is traction on the rocks. Like it, it does go a little bit easier than you think. But then at the really bad times there isn't that much traction on the rocks too so I think throughout the race um, it started off okay but it was still difficult and I was kind of just riding with the A rider so I was either following along with them or you know in a line with them and 
you know, mostly people were helping each other, but there was definitely times where it was kind of like you just need to take the opportunity to go and try to get your bike up as far as you can. Um, and then people would kind of like jump in and help. So I, I definitely felt like I was racing my own race um, kind of towards the end. Then there was a lot of bottlenecks that I would r run into. That's, that's kind of when I decided to try a harder line that didn't go so well. <laughs> um, but I still wanted to try it because being a trials rider, I'm used to looking at going up bigger, longer rocks. And so I figured oh, it might go. Um, it's, it seemed to be fine until it wasn't. And then that's when I was coming back down. And I think, you know, after that, I was just kind of like, okay, I got back in line with the other riders to kind of drag my bike up something with the help of others. And at that point, I just realized that that's probably what the rest of the race was going to be like. Um, which I was like okay with, but uh, you know, after a while, it's just kind of like I, I think that crash just just mentally got me a little bit. Like it's just going to be a really tough day, and it's not going to ease up. It's only going to get harder. So um, I think I was just kind of in it to keep going and um, see. I mean, I really wanted to finish a lap because I knew that I could, and that in my position with the time that I had left that I, I probably could finish a lap, but it was like up to me to make sure that that happened. So that's how I kind of just kept pushing forward and knowing that, you know, the race is eventually going to end. We're eventually going to run out of time and I would like to make it as far as I possibly could. So, and I wanted to be happy with that too, but, um, it definitely got, uh, you know, uh, physically and mentally, uh, rough towards the end. I actually had um, like pulled something in my hamstring during um, one of my get offs kind of earlier in the race and that was bugging me and then when the bike came back down on me I think it was either a rock or the bike that got my other leg so my legs started to cramp really bad and they were just hurting where I felt like I didn't really have any power in them anymore um, and that was just like that was just frustrating to work with after a while but um you know, it's just part of racing. I feel like I kind of get used to like getting beat up a little bit, but you just kind of keep moving forward and yeah, that's all I, that's all I thought about. <laughs> well, I would say the appeal for me is that it's a sport that um, I have all like the right skills for and the background for because of my trials um, uh, career and also having some time uh, spent on a dirt bike with enduro cross and some national enduros and stuff. So I kind of have everything that it takes and I feel like the sport is, is um, growing and there aren't that many women in it that can actually do it. So I almost feel like I need to do it for that reason too is because I, you know, I could be um, a really good competitor or top competitor in this really tough sport. So I think that's kind of what keeps me going to the races is knowing that I will do well. Um, but I, I honestly do like riding on rocks and having like the technical aspect of it because that's just like the, the trials um, uh, nature that I have in me. And so I, and I really do enjoy riding dirt bikes too. Like I, trials is fun, but I, you know, get sick of that once in a while. So being able to do that on a dirt bike is just, just as fun for me. So, um, you know, as abusive as it can be sometimes, it's still, it's, it still keeps me coming back for more just to, it's, it's such a challenge too. God, and it's like a really unique sport. Like I said, not many people are in it. So, um, I feel fortunate that I do have what it takes to, to, to do this sport. So I better not, I don't want to waste that, you know? So.